Welcome to the Hillsborian Historian. My name is Rex, and today we are looking at the class featured in the 50th volume of the Hillsborian, and that is the class of 1966. The yearbook is dedicated to Mrs. Rebel Tinsley, a math teacher. This is the track team, and this was the first year of integration at the Big Red. Here we can see a student writing a letter to a serviceman in Vietnam. Early in the school year, a chlorine leak caused an evacuation of the high school. Mrs. Reby used ammonia to create a harmless gas. On October 15, 1965, students arrived at Hillsborough and saw a gigantic arrow planted in the middle of Gaither Field. The Chamberlain prank was soon cleared up by the Terriers of the Big Red. Nevertheless, the infamous arrow caper would take its place in the chronicles of Hillsborough High School. There was a car smash in November, which meant that the Turkey Day game was drawing nigh. The Terrier football team wanted revenge on the Plant Panthers when they met at Phillips Field. An old Terrier proverb states that revenge is a dish best served cold. Thousands of people came out to see the annual battle between Plant and Hillsborough High. It was a truly hard-fought game. But in the end, the Terriers won. The basketball team won the city, conference, district, and regional titles, but fell short in the state tournament. In February, Miss Mary Ruby Johns, who had served the Big Red for 32 years, passed away. 1957, she had encouraged students to come up with the Terrier Creed, and her legacy continues till today. The baseball team had another great year, and here are some views from the Big Red Band. In April, convicts from Rayford Prison arrived at HHS under special guard. They spoke about the consequences of a life of crime. On Memorial Day, a ceremony was held by the flagpole. A student played taps from the top of the clock tower. This is extremely rare footage from the top of the Hillsborough High School clock tower. This is Senior Cap Day, and graduation was to be held at Curtis Hickson Hall on June 8th. However, Hurricane Alma, which skirted the west coast of Florida, delayed the graduation. This would be Vivian Gaither's last year as principal of the Big Red. 
Assistant Principal Wayne Hamilton also retired at this time. Mr. Gaither and Mr. Hamilton served the Big Red for decades, and their impact continues to be felt today. For the first time in 33 years, HHS was looking for a new principal. Well, I have to go take a well-earned break. Take care of yourselves. Please subscribe to my channel to keep up with all of my HHS videos. And as always, go Big Red.